Greetings and welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel and this is a new calculus channel. So shortly after I published this video, the definite integral is well defined as a product of arithmetic means. It didn't take long before a PhD in physics got onto the channel and began to comment. So uh, I actually stopped him because he's very typical of an idiot who doesn't know what he's talking about. And so his first uh, Comment says that works for function where you know the primitive function. And so I tell him, uh, I answer his question and tell him that when you don't know the primitive function in the mainstream calculus, you use numeric integration. Whereas in the new calculus, you have something which is valid systematic integration and it works for any function. So in any case, then he gets confused about arithmetic means. So he says, uh, so if one does not have the primitive function, how does one take the means? So again, I've told him that you can only take the means through the primitive function or numeric integration, but he doesn't get it. So here's my answer to him. My method deals with the mean value theorem in which it is clearly stated you need both a primitive and derivative. If you do not have a primitive function, then whatever numeric integration technique you use, it boils down to a product of two arithmetic means. The arithmetic mean of f prime of x, which is used with the interval width. And so the idiot comes back with, with another comment telling me that the interval width is not an arithmetic mean. Then I got sick of this and I got onto his site. He's actually a lecturer. <laughs> uh, let's see what he says here. A PhD in physics, uh, a teacher of M and PH whatever the fuck that is, uh, a textbook author and a social evolutionary, a humanist, and a gourmet. <laughs> so the guy's name is Bjorn Furbacher. Don't even know where he's from, but he's an idiot. So in any case, uh, he responds to my email a little bit later, again with the same drivel, even after I explained. So watch this video on the mean value theorem proof explained for hyper-stupid mainstream calculus professors and teachers and see how the idiots don't even get the gist of the message. And of course, you'll see the comments in this video here, where poor Bjorn doesn't understand even the basics. He's such an idiot, he can't even understand basic English. So that's pretty much it. My name is John Gable. If you're not already a subscriber, become one. Tell your friends about it. Um, uh, become a member of my members only channel for a mere $4.99. And I hope to be chatting with you very soon again in the near future. I'm John Gabriel, and this is New Calculus Channel. Till next time, goodbye.